<laughs> I aspire to great things. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, if this is your first time here, in a guided meditation, just close your eyes. Take a nice breath. Follow the sound of my voice. I'm going to take you all back. Back into a past life. Where you can meet the matriarchal head of your family. For some of you, that was three, four, five generations ago. For some, you can count your generations all the way back to almost the very beginning. But each family had a special matriarchal leader. Mine was a great-grandmother, and yours might have been further back than that. But as you follow the sound of my voice, we're going to go a wonderful journey back to get in touch with the woman who started your lineage. And I'm going to have you take a walk with me. Back, back through the ages. And as you're walking along, you're going backward, all the way back to when you were five years old, and then back further, back to before you were born, when you were a part of spirit, and then follow the sound of my voice as we go back beyond that, back to the 1800s. And as you get yourself back there, you notice that the costumes that people wear, the clothing people wear, is completely different. The dresses are longer. The women of the day had to be fully clothed. A hat, a dress, long dress. They had stockings and quite often gloves. And see yourself as that type of person walking down the street with a parasol in your hand. And for some, this feels very familiar. And you could be the matriarchal center of your life. For some of you, as you go back and back and back, you find yourself in a tribal community of Native Americans. And you are the wise woman sitting cross-legged in front of a very beautiful tent or a hogan in front of a fire. And for some of you, you're in Hawaii. And you're not wearing very many clothes. This is before the missionaries have come and had you cover your body with a moo. And when you're in that form, you're dancing the hula. And see yourself as the wise woman of the community dancing the hula. And for some of you, you go back further, back into the European area, back to Japan, back to China. Many of you come from different cultures, including some from Africa, but in many times, in many eras, the women were the leaders of the group, the community, the tribe. And see what feels good to you. What area and what era can you identify with as a woman? And when you feel that, the babies that you have given birth to, the children you have raised, the young adults that you have nurtured, the grandchildren you've rocked in a rocking chair or held in your arms and talked to. Feel the joy, the excitement, the honor, the bliss of being a woman having children. And for those of you who are in a masculine form at that point in time, you might remember the joy of raising a child as a man. 
and giving all the mothering to a young child. Each one of us has parented at some time in our life or our lives. And all we need to do is take ourselves back in spirit to those times and feel the love that is connected between a mother or a father and their child. And I'd like you all to just take your hands and cross yourself, cross your chest, Cross your arms around your chest and feel the love. For some of you, the love of being pregnant. For some of you, the love of cutting the cord when the baby was born. Each one of you at some time has been that go-to parent of love. Just stay in that memory. Just stay in that love and hold it close to you. And when you're ready, just take a nice deep breath and come back here. Mothering, fathering, parenting is the most spiritual gift you will ever receive. Honor it and honor the parents that went before you, particularly the mothers on this day. <laughs>